welcome to the second video of how to draw your dragon. In this episode I'm going to show you how to draw the general parts of a dragon anatomy, but this time it's going to be only a western dragon. I'm going to show you what we're going to see in the rest of the videos in a very generic um, outlook. Here I have a sketch I made of a normal western dragon. It's a simple design that has four legs and two pairs of wings, but you can also add many, many more pairs of wings and spikes and things. So, to begin with, we'll start just looking at the head. Here I use Photoshop and I have a normal round brush. So, of course, we'll start learning the skeleton and why it looks the way it does and everything else. But for this video, I'm just going to show you like the general kind of look on the dragon. So as you can see, it looks more like a horse mixed with a feral wild big cat, right? Because it has a thick neck and thick legs. And well, for this, I'll just show you like the way I draw the neck and everything else. You will see the muscles later on in the other videos. So this is just to show you like the more general kind of look of a dragon. So to make it simple, we'll just start by learning several things about western dragons. So to make these dragons you need to think of four-legged creatures and just focus on that first because the wings can be a little daunting at first. Because, well, no animal has those, right? So it looks like a big animal with an extra set of limbs. And that's just what they are, really. They are an extra set of limbs. That's all they are. So as you can see, I'm making stores a little short. And I'm leaving the wings out on purpose right now. So we'll see. Don't worry about not knowing what to do or how to draw it. You can just copy this and it will be fine. We're learning together. So I'm using more like a reptile dinosaur kind of legs because some dogs or cats, big cats, don't have this kind of legs. They have them shorter. Also, the claws can be way different than this. This is just like for a quick example. And I'm using a 2B pencil brush. It gives it this nice sketchy texture that I really enjoy. Here we have just like you know the legs and the tail. A very simple tail. Like a lizard tail. Hey, the tip is horrible. Ignore the tip. We can do something about it later. <laughs> and so we now go to the wings. This is the daunting part. As you can see, our little dragon has four limbs, a tail, and a head, which is like a dinosaur. Uh a leopard or a wolf, or anything you want. So you can grab any of those animals and use them as inspiration, that would be great. And so, for the wings, just think of them as another pair of arms, right? Like, if we're going to use a little pair of arms and think about some color, for example, you'll see that the arms are like this, like it has a hinge here, and then here, and then you have like the, the paws right? The legs as well, you have the hinge, then the knee, then another hinge, and then the paws. It's pretty much the same thing with the wing. The wing has a hinge, which I'll explain later why is it located exactly here and not here or here. So, yeah, you'll see why. So it's another kind of arm, right? A hinge, just like this one, and another limb, and another hinge, just like this one. And another hand, with fingers if you wish. More fingers, yippee! So, as you can see, it's a different arm, it's just another arm. So if you think about it that way, it will be much easier for you to make your dragon's wings. So, you can see they are simple shapes to show the movement where the arm hinges, right? So I'll just lower the opacity on this one, so I can still draw and you can still see it. So, here goes. To make another the wing, think of it as a, a triangle, like this. 
and the top of the triangle at the arm because it goes like this. Mm -hmm. It goes on the... It's like another arm, pretty much. That's all it is. If you think of it that way, I promise it's going to be simpler. There are many muscles in these arms. We're gonna explore them in later videos in wings. And you can add, you know, the fingers. Think of them as bat wings, or even birds have like arms. And this is like a membrane. Not all dragons have it, but it, it's useful for flying. So, to make the hinges on the wings simpler, just imagine fingers in a hand. Long fingers with hinges. So you can move them like this. You can go like this. And like this. And then you can just go like this. It's simple. It's truly simple once you get a hold of it. And I wanted to explain something. In most dragons you will see the wing structure ends in the tail or starts, depends how you see it. It starts here and runs all over the back and it ends here. Why? Because that provides them with extra stability. And you can have like the wind membranes like this, you know, united. It's quite incredible. I really like winds. In many other dragons you'll see different kind of wings, like have you seen Spyro? My character gets compared to Spyro quite a lot. <laughs> and I noticed that Spyro has wings that look like this. And they finish in a little pole at his shoulder, like, like this. So instead of going all the way to the tail, they just stay here. And that's, I think it's a design choice more than anything else. But it might be a little complicated for a dragon to fly, having such short wings. Still, it works, because it's a character. It's a cartoon, so it works. Because have you seen Shrek? Well, the dragoness also has pretty small wings, and she can fly. And it's the same story with the Sleeping Beauty. The dragon is really fat and small wings, and still can fly. So don't worry too much about that. But if you want to make a plausible, physically, anatomically correct dragon, we are going to learn anatomy, so you stop being scared of anatomy and start drawing it, because it will help you a lot. And you have a friendly dragon, you can add spikes to it, and claws, and I don't know, tail spikes, whatnot. Do whatever you want to your dragon, it's yours. So yeah, this is like the basic mm, geometry, the anatomy and geometry of a, a western dragon. Just a general look, because we are going to go more in depth with the rest. But for now, I'll just give you like a really quick overview sketch, right? So this is a head, and the neck is like a tube. It connects to the chest. You can draw it as a as an oval, and you know the spine just keeps going onto the tail, and then you have the pelvis, and then you have the legs and such. This is a very simplified drawing. It's not completely anatomically accurate, but it works. It's just to show you like the review of our baby little dragon. This is how it would look without all the sketchy colors. Yay! So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the second video. Subscribe and leave comments if you want.